Knowing what to do in a medical emergency could be the difference between life and death. Neil Persley tells us how one local fire department is providing an opportunity to train you and have fun at an upcoming event. Just playing hockey with a bunch of high school friends and, and during the course of the game, I started feeling just wasn't getting my win back after the game. You know, after the, after my shift, I'd go to the to the bench and I just couldn't. I wasn't ready to go back out again. That was 10 years ago, and Kirk Anderson was in great shape. He had no indication he was headed for a heart attack. I started seeing the stars, and then I slumped into the door. The guy behind me started doing actual physical CPR, and uh, somebody went and got the Zamboni guy. So the Zamboni guy ran off got the AED and they actually went through the process, put the AED on me and it told them to shock me. So they shocked me once and then they shocked me twice because it said to do it again. People who knew exactly what to do saved Kirk's life that day. The Robbinsdale Fire Department wants to teach everyone how easy it is to use today's modern AED equipment and to do hands-only CPR at their open house coming up Saturday, August the 10th. Downstairs in the basement, you'll be able to take compression-only CPR using an AED. Burns says they want the public to have this simple training and to not be afraid to use the AED because the machine itself will walk you through the process. There's a lot of warnings around an AED machine such as, you know, trained responders only and things like that. You'll be trained from people with the Minnesota Cardiac Survivors Association uh, on the skill of providing CPR in conjunction with an AED. The skill you learn could be life-saving. Learn about the AEDs or even CPR. Learn everything you can do just because you never know. It could be a situation like what I was in when you just happen to be there and you can be that person that helps save somebody else's life. In Robbinsdale, Neil Persley, CCX News. And for more information on the Robbinsdale Fire and Police Open House on August 10th, go to the City of Robbinsdale's Facebook page or the City's website.